Here we go, it's going now. Alright, so you pull this pin out, and they've got a little washer on this one to make it so when it vibrates it doesn't rattle. And then you're going to put it back in right down here. you got to hold your mouth just right. The guy you bought it from done a good job of greasing it for you. <laughs> touching the ground and so is the front. So both parts are there touching the ground. Now you play with it a little bit until you feel this loosen up. Did you see me wiggle the handle a little bit? So that's loose. Cut the tractor off, disconnect these hoses, and then you leave it sitting there. And when you come back to it, you just reconnect the hoses. You want me to show you the full yeah, thing? Yeah, re, re, uh, disconnect one hose and reconnect it for me. I reckon it works just like an airline. Yep. Okay. So that's disconnecting your hoses. You're going to want to put your cap back in this one because you don't want any dirt to get on it. Um, and then, because this will be sitting there, and then when you come back to it, you're not going to be able to do anything to adjust it until you reattach that. Mm -hmm. So you reattach that. And you crank it back up. You always leave it in low gear so you're going slow and you don't idle it too high up. You, know, you want to go slow. So you see where it's going under this cradle right there? Yeah. Once you got it where you think it's going to go in where it's supposed to, push this to the right to curl your bucket back down and adjust your weight back onto it. All right. And put your pins back in. Notice the pin has a set down in there. Has a what? A step down. A say. set. You set it. You set the pin. See right here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop it in the hole. So now, when you crank it back up on this brace of 24, you got to push the clutch. When you crank it back up. Crank your lever back up. sure you do this someplace where you're not going to drop stuff and lose it in the grass if you got my bad luck yeah you're in tall grass and you drop either the rubber washer that keeps it from making vibrating noises or one of the pins or clips 
If I had a bucket, I couldn't put all the screws in it I've ever lost. <laughs> and I have a, you know, like when I'm working in a house, if I, if there's one vent in the room, in the room in the floor, and I drop a nail or a screw that I've got to have, it'll roll all the way across the room just to hit that one air vent. <laughs> My luck too. All right, so that's the loader. Okay. Back go. Did you stop your video so you can do the back end one so it's